Hey coders and welcome to episode 8 of our slide service playlist on the Google Apps Script course. In this video we're going to be talking about page element groups. So a group is basically two or more page elements that have been associated together uh, with themselves. So you can have groups of groups by the way, but basically when you say alright I have this one page element and this other page element, so I want to group them, basically if you group that then they become one, their own distinct page element. So that means basically if you scale one, the other one scales propor proportionately. So I think if we jump into the code and give an example of this, then it will all make sense. But the top four methods that we are describing today are as group, get groups, group and ungroup, and get children. Alrighty, let's jump into the code. Before we look at these methods, let's take a reminder of what a group actually is. So if we look into our presentation, just by looking at this slide alone, you can't tell if any of these page elements are grouped. But let's say if we click on this uh, sun shape right here, you can see that a border or a bounding box has been placed around both of the sun and this text box right here which says the sun. Great, so if we again click on say an image, it is just one image in particular. You can make temporary groups of course by highlighting over multiple page elements and then you have your temporary group. But to make a more permanent group, you need to say go up to arrange and then hit the group button. Alrighty, oh yeah, one more thing is that uh, for some reason, um, videos and tables cannot be grouped. So if you try to say select the sheets chart and then select the video and then go up to arrange, you can see that grouping is not possible if you have a video or a table or in fact a placeholder text box none of those objects or none of those page elements can be grouped um, but everything else say a line and a shape and a word art and everything else like a text box all of these things can be grouped alrighty so let's jump back into the code we've seen this before if you want a page element you can get that by saying get page elements from a slide say but that is not going to return for you the specific methods of a particular type of page element so if you want a group, if you want the methods from a group, you can say page element and then typecast it into a group. We've seen this many of times before. And then after you have your group, then you can do group specific methods like ungroup or say get children. And that is how to again to typecast it or convert it into a group object. All right, so we'll just say constant group. We'll save that for future use. The next method that we're going to look at is getting groups. And again, we have seen this many a times before, but one way one way to get the groups, again, you could say slide.getPageElements. After you have your array of page elements, then you could select the, cert the specific page element that you want and convert it into a group. But there's a quicker way. You could say .getGroups. And this will return an array of groups that are on this slide. So we've... Uh, We've done this before, so let's just do it again, just for consistency's sake. If we log that and we run it, we'll view the logs, and we should see a one array, and that is of this group. So it's one, one array, one element in that array, and it should be returning this group. None of these other objects are, or none of these other elements are grouped. It's just this one right here. So let's look at it. Yep, here it is. We have our group returned in an array. Alrighty, so that is how to get the groups. Alright, so let's start looking at some more specific group methods. So the first one is ungroup. Let's look at ungrouping. So again, if you have a group and you want to modify certain things, um, or if you just want to get rid of this group, you don't want, say if you want to scale it, but you only want to scale the sun, you didn't want to scale both of these, you can ungroup them programmatically. So you first need a group, and here it is right here. We have gotten that right here. And then it, the method is extremely simple. It's just ungroup. And this is not going to retur return anything. It's All it's going to do is perform an action. It's going to ungroup your two elements. So if we now save that and we run it, we can see if we go back into the code that now when I click the star, or I mean the sun, and then also when we go back to the slide, if we click the sun, then it is ungrouped. It doesn't select both the identifier here, the sun, the text box, and the sun at the same time. It is ungrouped. This is now two separate uh, 
page elements. It is no longer a group. Alrighty, so now we can also group though. We can we can ungroup, but then we can group page elements together. Again, remember you can't if if a video or a table is in your page elements that you're trying to group, it's going to throw an error and it's not going to allow you. Uh, also, again, if you have like a placeholder text, that's not going to let you either. And these are placeholder text, by the way. So there are text boxes, but then there are things called placeholder text boxes. You can't group these. Alrighty, so let's just try to group these two again. Both of these are considered shapes. And actually, I have them right here. I'm getting the shapes, and then I'm just getting the first two elements of the shapes because there's one more over here, but we're not really concerned about that. We're just going to group these two. Alrighty, so to do that, you need a slide, and then you need to say group. And then after that, you pass in the parameter of page elements. So this needs to be an array of page elements, all the page elements that you want to group. And I have that right here. Again, I'm getting the first two uh, shapes that are on the slide. So I'm just going to tack on to group right here to make sure that this is indeed what we're going to group. If we hit save now and we hit run, then it's going to say, oops, that's because we have just uh, gotten rid of that page element. But let's run it again. Alrighty, now if we check out our presentation, indeed, these are two, these are grouped. We can click on it, and both of them ha are selected at the same time. Additionally, if we go up to Arrange, we can see that we now have the option to ungroup them if we would like to. Alrighty, so that is Group. Let me now comment that out, and I'll get one more, and that is going to be a Get Children. So if we have a group now... Let's just say now instead of saying const group, let's say um, slide dot get groups. We'll use our method that we just learned, and then we'll get the only one on there. If we now say group dot get children, this is going to return us all of the page elements that are a part of that group. So it's going to return of or it's going to return an array of all the page elements in that group right here. So there should only be two page elements. Let's just verify that with saying logger.log. Oh yeah, and by the way, the reason why I had to change this say from saying group to uh, page element and then as group is because once we ungrouped it, we got rid of that page element. And then when we grouped it again, we gave it a new ID. So this get page element ID doesn't make sense anymore because this is not the group that we're getting anymore. It has now, it has a now, or it has a new ID now. Great. So let's just, again, we'll get the groups, we'll get the children of that, and then we'll hit save. We'll hit run, and we'll view the logs. And we should get an array of two page elements. And there it is. So here's our two page elements. Again, that corresponds to this sun and this uh, text box right here. Alrighty, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one on groups. If you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you in the next one.